seems like the cold and sniffle season is never very far away. Hard to believe on a muggy day like this one in Florida, but you're probably <laughs> right. It's all too true that we need to be ready for colds and respiratory problems whenever they arrive. So we've been getting some expert advice about how to quickly defend against those symptoms in an all-natural way. Now your lungs were a little raspy last week. They sound much better today. Lola Pissero hasn't had much experience with colds and that stuffed up feeling, and her mom and Dr. Carrie Marshall want to keep it that way. Echinacea is a key part of their strategy. If she starts to get sniffly, give it to her three or four times a day. And she's old enough now that you can definitely give her some of it. It has a dropper, so you can just put it right in her mouth, and you can do a dropper full, which is really about 30 drops and then you can just give her that two or three times a day at the onset of a cold, and it will actually help prevent the full duration of the cold. Carrie Marshall is a naturopathic physician who includes a healthy dose of herbal and botanical medicine in her practice. And echinacea is a staple for her. And echinacea is one of those products that can really be utilized to decrease the severity and the intensity of a cold, and so it can be highly effective in that way. Echinacea is a plant that has grown naturally in the United States for centuries. Native Americans used it. It was actually one of their primary means of medicines. Modern Science recently took a close look at echinacea with a five-year study funded by NCAM, the National Center for Complementary and Alternative Medicine. The study was conducted by Gaia Herbs of North Carolina using organic echinacea grown by Gaia. The research showed how plant parts and time of harvest impact the effectiveness of the botanical medicines made from echinacea. So when we looked at Quick Defense and the NCCAM funded study, we realized that we needed to address the inflammatory response, and particularly at onset. So we compounded echinacea and the roots of echinacea very, very strongly with andrographis, black elderberry, and ginger, which also support the inflammatory response. And the outcome was that we found that we created a formulation that, if taken um, you know, just for a couple of days, it could really mitigate the inflammatory expressions that take place at onset very, very nicely. Liz Bartlett's been on the retail side of the natural health business for over a decade. One of her key jobs is advising customers on what to take when they feel the cold coming on. So I asked her what she takes when that happens. Her answer? Echinacea. I started feeling like I was coming down with something, there was something going on with my system. Started taking that and I found immediate results, letting it get into my system to build myself up to fight off these things. The key to this quick defense are the alkalamides in echinacea roots and seeds. The federal study found harvesting the roots and seeds in the fall makes the alkalamides even more effective at supporting the immune system's battle against sinus and respiratory challenges. Dr. Marshall says high frequency and high doses are important in mounting a quick defense with echinacea. Now in some cases, if you're doing phytocapsules, you're going to need to do two capsules five times a day. But when you're treating a cold initially with echinacea, you have to think high frequency. That's something Lola's mom agrees with for the entire family. As soon as one of us got signs of, of a cold coming on, the rest of us kind of took a lot of echinacea, a lot of um, other immune support supplements. Great. And do you, when you take it like that, do you take it in high frequency? Yeah, we take um, probably a couple of, of caps, you know, every few hours um, and just keep doing that until the, the sickness is gone. Of course, botanical medicine is only one way to battle an oncoming cold. Dr. Marshall has other advice as well. So it's really important that you give yourself that one day to take off and to allow yourself to sleep all day, make a pot of chicken soup, drink tea all day. So if you can drink some, some warm herbal teas during the course of the day and just really allow yourself that chance to rest and recuperate, you will be able to recover much quicker and, and you won't have the severity of the cold as well. And there's certainly some herbs such as echinacea that can really decrease the severity, the intensity, the cold. Finding the right echinacea product to take can, of course, be a challenge, given all the products on the market. Dr. Marshall advises asking a naturopathic physician and herbalist or a knowledgeable health food store professional. 
but she says the right kind of echinacea can be a great quick defense when the cold bug starts to bite. Another tip Dr. Marshall gave me was to look for echinacea products that use organically grown plants because they're better for you. And why are they better for you? <laughs> the main benefit is what organic ingredients don't have. No pesticides, no harmful chemicals. So just like we want to avoid those things in our food and drinks, it makes equally good sense to avoid them in our supplements. That's why organic ingredients are also very important in those supplements. If you want more details on the research we just mentioned, we have the link for you on the Healing Quest website.